Welcome to the second part in my survival series for No Man's Sky Origins. In the previous part, we got through the initial survival phase, we got the ship repaired, and we started to explore this planet. And that's the theme I want to continue in this part and other parts going forward. And what I'd like to say is a big thank you for your comments and feedback on that first video and many of your suggestions and tips. And I think the main one that I've taken away, because it does fit with what I want to do with this series, is that I want to slow down, take my time and explore. So there, in this series, there's going to be no rush to the centre of the galaxy. In fact, there's going to be no rush to go anywhere, even completing this initial awakenings mission. But what I will say is we will probably go up into space and do the next step because I, I would like to get my base uh, set up. And more importantly, what I would like to do is get access to the terrain manipulator because as Snafu pointed out, if I come out here and look around here, there's lots of buried technology and buried resources around here, which I can't actually access at the moment because I do not have the terrain manipulator. Yes, thank you. That was the reason why I was stood in the doorway of this um, built POI here. This is actually a transmission tower, which we're going to be looking at in a minute, because that way it may take us to a crash ship. So that's going to be the general philosophy of this series. The other idea I've had considering the fact that the origins update has introduced the ability to upgrade the multi-tool i'm wondering whether i'm going to actually upgrade this to a full s level 24 slot multi-tool if i can do it just for the fun of it and actually just keep it for the duration of the game that may even apply to the flying brick because we can also upgrade that to an s class ship just so that i've got something that i can take forward through the series i mean i know i know it's totally impractical but that's the way it is. I can see a bird flying overhead. Yes, thank you again. The other thing I've also been doing off camera is I've been using the portable refiner here to refine out some of the resources that I actually picked up. You can see the salt I collected I've now turned into chlorine because that is actually worth more than the salt was. The chlorine is worth 49,000. It's still not a massive amount. And what the other thing I've also done is the rusted metal I've actually turned into ferrite dust. And I think we're just going to pick that up so I don't forget it. Then we're going to go back into here. In fact, I haven't even spoken to this guy. So we're going to speak with Broker, wherever you are. Small creature is biddy adding up trade profits when I appear. Sensing me that their eyes wide of anticipation. They rub their fingers together greedily. Uh, yep, we can't understand a word, but we do know you're a geek. The life form pecks emphatically at the monetary figures in their pad. Then bounces up and down. A warm and pleasant scent fills the air. Relief of the bitter cold. Um, I'll give him a hundred units. I've got the money for it. Life form is clearly thrilled. They give me a piece of technology in exchange. So we actually got a starship uh, module. Is that actually an S class? Um, That's a C class. The game's misleading me. Now, what we could do is turn that into nanites, or we could actually put it on the ship. I think I'll probably be more inclined to just turn that into nanites. But of course, the main thing I want to investigate here, long ago, it seems an automated distress call went out unanswered. If I can check the encryption pattern, I can potentially extract the coordinate. One times two, two, um, two times three is three, two is a six, four, six is a 24, five is 120. So this should be 720. Distress signal coordinates discovered. Okay, we've got a crash ship. And I think it was Staff who suggested that maybe I uh, find a distress ship and fix it up. And that could be worth an option. Okay, um, anything else in here before we leave? Nope. Quick look round, see if there's anything of any value. And of course, we can't pick up any of these deposits yet because we do need the terrain manipulator. There's an unknown building 449 away that direction. We're certainly going to take a look at that on the way through. Uh, and see what this is. Wow, it's quite literally just the other side of the hill. Uh, maybe I won't do this. What is this? No, it's just a, a it's, it's just some loot. I don't I don't really want to waste the thrust of fuel 
I'm dropping down and picking up some loot. I know some of you will say well, I should do it, but it's not here. Turn my ship around this way. Well, the distress beacon is 11 minutes away, so it, it says we've got to go up into space anyway. So I think what we'll do is we get to that distress beacon, we will go up into space. So we're in a system with five planets, one moon. It's a GEC system, it's Dex Destitute. Okay, so it says test the system. Uh, this is just a double key. I think I've nearly overshot the system. So we've, we've now completed the next step in the mission. Oh, incoming mission uh, message. <laughs> so we better do that. Incoming transmission. Source 4925B. Please identify yourself. I'm Xzz. Identify myself. You are not Xzz alone. Okay. <laughs> Follow the Xzz. Broadcast ends strange as began. The final piece of the signal appears to be a set of planetary coordinates, in plot the coordinates. What this is going to do is actually send us to a, another planet, but we're not going to go there just yet. I must admit, the more I think about it, as the more I like the idea of keeping the flying brick as a, as a trophy ship for this series. I mean, you can have up to six ships, and... I'll be completely honest, I, I tend to just keep using the same ship over and over again. So here we are, we're just coming in on the distress beacon. And I'm not seeing a ship. Oh, we, is that a ship? I'm not too sure, actually. Yeah, it is a ship. It's a fighter, actually, as well. That's cool. Wow, that is a pretty good find for a first crash ship, actually. Um, the Masters of Fire. And what's that? That's, that's only a C class. Um, let's compare. Abandoned ship is worth 935,000. Of course, we don't need a freighter to be able to claim this because. Until you get a freighter, the, any extra ships you've got seem to be stored in some mysterious location, which you can then summon back in. The only thing I've never been completely clear about is whether you've got to repair it before you actually um, leave. Otherwise, you may not be able to get back to the ship. But, so what I might do is just repair this, because it won't take that much to repair. Just in case. I mean, if you know different, feel free to chuck it in the comments. We're going to claim the ship. This is the ship. We need um, some pure ferrite and dihydrogen jelly, which we can make, I'm pretty sure. I, I think. Uh, I've got a feeling the dihydrogen may be in here. Um, nope, not in here. We've just got some tritium and some oxygen. We've got the starship. Oh, okay. We're going to have to wander around here and do a bit of exploring. Actually, let's put out the. Uh, yeah. And just put some fuel in there. And, uh, okay, and I'm not going to turn all the ferrite dust into pure ferrite. Let's just pop this down to, say, about 100. That'll do. Right, I'll scan, see what's around. And of course, there's absolutely no dihydrogen around. Well, we've got a little bit of loot here. Let me pick that up. More oxygen. Got some projectile ammunition, so I suppose I could make a bolt caster. And I think it was Crypto Farg who said that I should be searching every possible container. Uh, apologies if I'm getting your comments mixed up. I hate it when it does that. 
they will pull up. <laughs> um. What which starship am I in? This one, right? Now, fine. Yes, thank you, game. I jump into here. Uh, you've got a couple of slots in here, so what I could do is put the projectile information in, into here and put some of this carbon into here as well. I can use this ship as a. And it's actually this ship's actually got shields as well. But I need a metal plate for that. Actually, this has got a launch system recharger as well. That's cool. So, uh, kidding me. Okay. <laughs> we could talk to the magic globe. Right, that can kind of connect us to. Okay, so we'll just leave that there for the moment. Yes, thank you, game. What do I need for a hermetic build? I'll certainly make that. So, so the pulse engine's fixed. We can fix that. All we need now is some dihydrogen jelly. So I've got absolutely none of. Right, let me just go into one more space. I think what we will do is put the slime in the starship as well. So I just need some dihydrogen. How much have I got in the way of sodium? And we've got batteries. I think we can go and have a little bit of a look around here and see if we can find some dihydrogen. Yeah, it should be. I don't, I don't believe this, that there is no dihydrogen around here. I don't want to get too far away from the ship. Yes, thank you, game. Uh, you in there. Might as well use up some of this oxygen as well. Normally, dihydrogen is everywhere. Uh, Identified uh, material. Let's we'll make that. What is that? That was the portable refiner. Maybe not. Um, I'm not going to take a chance. Uh, for, uh, Okay, we're going to need a health kit. <laughs> I thought that was a... Oh, I jumped off the top of there. Oh. That, was a, that was a bit of a mistake. And what we'll do is we'll just repair that. We got that repaired, that repaired. And technically this can fly, but considering it needs to be fully repaired, we're going to need chromic metal activated. Yeah. Um, Um, and I say this is the point guys where you tell me that I didn't need to do that but uh, I just want to be on the safe side um, uh, life support 5% and then I can just pick this up um, 
next to suit is full. We need to jump back into the fire brick. This is one reason why I want to get the base set up because if I get the base set up and get to the storage vaults, we've got, we're going to have some place to store all the junk that I've accumulated. And let's just get rid of the stress beacon. Although I don't have the space to search for cargo. Wow, we've got a teleport receiver. Ship mounted teleportation device. Now that is going to be very useful once as and when I can install it. That is a big find. Because what that actually does is once you've installed that on the ship, that gives you a bit more range to teleport goods to and from the ship. So we've only got five tritium. Got one little bit of space here. We really could do with turning that rusted metal into... Yeah, I think before we go, I'm going to process out that rusted metal. Uh, so I've got a bit more space. Just the oxygen in. So while that's actually processing, we'll just have a little bit of a look around. What else do I need? Some cobalt. So we can go in the cave and get a little bit more cobalt so I can make batteries. Go away. Go away. In the whole of the first part, I never saw a sentinel, so I just wonder whether these are triggered now by a certain event, like you've repaired your ship or something like that. I can't remember where. Where's that? You've been yeah, you're thirty nine percent at the moment. Right, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go and sit in my ship uh a minute and I'll be right back. Welcome back, the refiner's just finished. I've got a little bit of a mystery. I was tidying up my inventory making space. Suddenly I've got some ionized cobalt from somewhere. The only thing I can think of is that it was in there and when I made the space on my ship the ionized cobalt actually <laughs> appeared because I haven't manufactured any so it must have come from this item here it's part of the reward anyway so we've now got our ship there and we'll be able to summon it in what we do need now is a base um, let me just wow Okay, it's going to just flow over the top of me. I am wondering now whether I do need to get up and get to this base because I do need some storage capacity. Am I up into space? Look at these clouds now. I think these clouds are really awesome. Now, so. now one thing we're going to have to keep an eye out for how far is it? All source, one hour. This is going to be quite a long jump and it could be quite risky because if we get bounced by pirates, we may be in trouble. I'm also a little bit worried about the amount of fuel that I've got. I would like to stop and get some fuel, but I think I'm going to jump straight for ship. There's a planet there with a double ring as well. Just throw a scan and see what we're going for. Um, we might better get a bit of tritium. Oh. Um, that's probably gold or something like that. So. Uh, I can go to the exosuit. Okay, we've got hostiles coming in and I need to get out of here. Uh, I'm not going to get anywhere. I could die here. Going, keep going, keep going. Yes. I just keep going. Okay. Um. 
It's only the one. I mean, the, these guys shouldn't be that strong. <laughs> Home start, got him. And we've actually got some chromic metal. And we got a little bit of stone. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm after tritium. Give me tritium. I don't want... Yes, I'm not worried about that. I'm just after tritium to stop telling me game. And I've also lost the tab. Where's the... Oh, there it is. Yes. Right, and we've got some hyperclusters here. And um, let me close. Right, I've got 64 tritium. Got a little bit of silver. Yes. Yeah, so I've probably got some more. I've got some gold or something. I thought I'd scan this. Okay. See what we're putting down on Pillared Planet. Okay, we are definitely coming down on a Pillared Planet. I wouldn't have thought this would be a good planet to build a base on. We are down. We've completely clogged up the ship. We've got chromic metal, we've got loads of rusted. And we've got ferrite dust. Probably more ferrite dust than I actually need. Uh, let me think, I need to make some space. Well, what we can do is deploy the. Uh, that. What we'll do is we'll put in the that and that, and what we'll do is the next step in the mission is there. Broken technology. The sparking wires of the machine generate a signal tapping out a forecast to the void. Whoever left this message is long gone. Decipher the signal. Decoding. Sixteen. Sixteen. 16. Entry, no fuel in, failed to reach station. Hazard protection low, no choice but to go underground because deployed the base to computer. As well, as well as the log entry, the signal contains plans for a base computer and a terrain manipulator. With any luck, the base computer will hold more information about whoever is leaving the messages. Track plans. And we've got almost enough for some chromic metal. And we got a terrain manipulator. Okay. What have we got there? Don't you want the crystals? And we got one of one, so I should be able to do now is go there. Um, that gives us a one of the more difficult um, milestones as we've discovered all the creatures on one planet <laughs> and for anyone who's new to the game come in here and look at milestones these are what you could call progression milestones that you can fill in some are incredibly easy like on foot exploration and the, what you need to do is get each one of these to 10 and what these actually do is, as you can see down here at the bottom, it says Apollo next mi a milestone pathfinder in two milestones. And this progress, the progress with these milestones relates to what you can unlock on the Atlas mission. Because if you haven't got the sufficient milestone, then you can't actually move to the next step in the Atlas path. So you do need to do this. But as I said, some of these are incredibly easy, like um, setting out uh, because you just walk around and... It, that doesn't take long to get this to level 10. The same with alien encounters. Obviously, if you do a bit of language, you do this. And, of course, money made 
So these top four are, rel are relatively easy. Ships destroyed and Sentinels destroyed does come with time. The, probably the most difficult ones is Extreme Survival and Planet Zoology, which I've got this one here. And, I mean, it's the same with the um, space exploration. As you move forward and explore um, planetary systems, this progresses as well. As I say, Planet Zoology and Extreme Survival are probably some of the, the two hardest. But if you find planets like this with a single species on, uh, it's no real problem, to be honest. Truthfully, what you're looking for is 10 planets with a single species on. And that's the way it's actually done. Uh, claim the base. Because that's that give us a few more nanites and such. And what I wouldn't mind there is uh, uh, saying what I wouldn't mind is to make a terrain manipulator. Um, put this in here. If I go say, e, can I part install? Yes, I can. Right, so I need two nano uh, nano tubes. Um, better make two of these. And that gives me. And we need dihydrogen jelly again. I don't think I've got enough dihydrogen. Yeah, not to make. Yes, I have. 40. Okay. Um, and we've got plenty of carbon. We've now got a terrain tool. Now, if I remember correctly, to make chromic metal, we need copper. And this may be the reason why we're actually down on this planet. Oh, <laughs> saw that in the distance there. And I thought that was uh, some creature coming towards me. Right, let's just have a look around and see if we can find gold. we got a glitching separator. Now, a glitching separator is a unique item which you can put in your base, but... I can't really pick this up just at the moment. If you get close to them, you see it turns there and you press the set mouse, center mouse button to pick this up. But to be honest, I can't really do this. Um, actually, can we... Apologies for the pause in the recording. I, I just had to take a phone call. Um, there's a little bit of dihydrogen there. I certainly wouldn't... Oops. pick up with some dihydrogen again. I want to get caught again on this. And um, what we need to find is some copper. Uh, so what is actually on this planet? Let me just check. Yeah, the, this planet's got copper on it. This is the reason we were sent here. Oh, the question now is we've got to find it. And I've also lost my ship. Where's my ship gone? Right, so what I'm going to do now is just... Oh, wait, get out of the way. Get out of the way. And I think what we're going to do is just make our way back to the ship and see if we can uh, take stock and find some copper. So we'll just get back to the ship. The oxygen. I think if we keep using the oxygen, we can eventually get some more slots here. We've got a little bit of chromic metal, but I want a bit more chromic metal than that. So. Not here scan these just keep scanning everything in sight we've got ferrite dust and carbon um, anything we'll, we'll check these and nothing found okay, um, more um, busted metal and we've got a Corvax casing. I don't really want that. It's just filling my inventory up with junk. Where's the... Find the refiner. Where, where have you gone? There you are. Um, Alright, dust. Oh, look. I think we've got more than enough ferrite dust now. I think what I'm going to do is actually turn some of this into uh, pure ferrite now. Go in there. I think we're, and this is one to one. Uh, I'll just put some more cotton in there. If we turn that into pure ferrite, then I can store that and then throw away some of the rest. 
Uh, don't really need this busted metal. I, I need some space for extra stuff. Right, um, we're going to discard the, the rusted metal starship. Yeah, the starship's there. We've got, we've got enough dihydrogen to be going on with. Um, that can go to the starship. Uh, we can make some life support gel. These are, I don't think these are the same thing. Is it? These are oxygen capsules. And Right, we're going to go looking for uh, just uh, the copper, gold, silver, silver. Thank you, uh, gold. <laughs> you can't make. I know you can make chromic metal with composites, but I think the only way you can make chromic metal from a single element is you need gold or is it cadmium things like that um, I think maybe it might just pay to change locations can I make some starship fuel uh, let me just see if I make some starship fuel right, we need metal plating and 40 dihydrogen okay, let's just punch out some let's make four of those and then we can make four of those. They can go to the starship. That gives me plenty of starship fuel now. Um, I think that will work because it means we can do some takeoffs and landings. I need a trading center, but I'm not going to get one down here, am I? Okay, let me just. And while we're doing, we're just going to scan around and scan everything in sight. Marabold bear. Anything else here that scanning? Might as well do it just to get the money. Done you, done you, done you, done you. That's ferrite carbon. And we've got some more Albion pearls here, but don't have the space. I mean, we could balance this. This is worth twenty-two thousand. This is worth forty-nine thousand. Just pick a couple of Albion pearls and just to see what the. Oh no, these aren't Albion pearls. Okay, You're misleading me, game. Got a little bit more cobalt. And I've got some space for that. Ah, I'm not sure why the game was juddering there just because I was mining. We've got some cobalt there. Okay. That can go in the starship. Looking good. That's what I'm telling myself. That can go in the exosuit. And... Um, We've got a little bit of pure ferrite, which we could chuck away if necessary. We've got two slots there. The ship is full. What we're going to do is we're going to take off and see if we can see any copper from the air. We've been flying across the surface here for a little while, and I haven't actually seen any surface copper. So what I'm going to try and do is we come in here to discoveries. And we gave up one. We know... We got this one here. This has got copper. Just wondering whether any of these other planets nearby are going to have copper on them. Let me just get up into space. Right, we've got ancient. We've got a barren moon. We got um, the cactus flesh and copper and pyrite on here. So what we'll do is we'll head for this planet. Because the advantage of this is we may find a trading station or something like that. There's something down there. Oh, that's what I'm looking for. 
Wow, we got two trading stations, so wow. And a hollow terminal. I think this was a good call. And technically this is a barren planet, so it shouldn't be as uh, hostile as other planets. Ooh, we'll just get in here. Yeah, thank you. Oh, it's, it's obviously it's going to be a hot planet. So. Right, we're in here. Of course, one thing we can take a look at, and we won't be able to afford to buy it. Um, let's have a quick look. There. Can't exchange, and we haven't got two million. So. What we will, right? We should be able to get some nanites from here, so we can get a little bit more cash from there. Have a look, we can sell the Corvax casing and the radium and the chlorine. Let's just sell off some of this stuff and make some cash. Um, we'll sell the radium. We've got no use for that. Um, 47,000 for the chlorine. Sell the Corvax casing. We'll switch to here. Same thing up. We'll sell the silver. We don't need that. And the ionized cobalt. Didn't really need that just at the moment. That gives me 131,195 nanites. Um, got this guy here, which we should be able to talk to. Oops, yep. Yeah. Wait, here you go. Let's see what you've got. The air around the beak life form smells foul. It seeps into my exosuit and makes me gag. Noticing my expression, the trader pecks at an element they carry. They break the substance into pieces and then swallow it whole. Uh, something, something. That there is a deep gurgle and then the gek emits a gas packet that smells delightful. The creature wipes their empty hands and beams at me with pleasure. Well, we've got loads of carbon, so we're thanking with carbon. The trader nods a curt thank you, but they decline to eat my gift, and the scent washes away my sense of return to dull neutrality. Okay. And of course, one thing we can do with this guy is we might be able to get some tech, such as blueprints. This is something I actually missed when I we went into the the new building in the previous part. I didn't actually check the tech advanced mining laser. And it needs wiring looms. In fact, all this needs wiring looms. Magnetic, yeah. Scan radius, so that's 120. I would really like this advanced mining laser, but we can get that on the Nexus. Uh, we don't need protection required. Get rank three required. That's interesting. I didn't know we had to have a rank to buy some of this stuff now. Is that new? I think I am going to get the, the blueprint for the advanced mining laser. Um, and hopefully if we get up onto the, some cash together and go up onto the space station, we can then um, buy a wiring loom and get that done. Anyway, let's just scan this again. And again, we've got another milestone. Which one have we got now? Probably because I'm yeah, space tracker, 92,000 units. So uh, if I come out of here to show you. So we've now got a level two money earned so we gotta as, as i said these top four will progress very quickly is alien encounters yeah we need two more alien encounters to do that okay um right there's actually a health kit here so that can repair my the life i lost uh, with the when I walked off the cliff. Let's see if we can get some stuff here. My hydrogen jetty, that could be useful. Nothing found. And of course we got a couple of these, so we're shooting here. And we'll read the encyclopedia and we got a get word for a friend. I don't really want to restore the shield. <laughs> First aid kit. Uh, okay, we'll just pick this just to make sure. And of course we'll claim the base. 
Take some money. And we'll just search this, see what we've got. Some navigation data. Um, some projectile ammunition, which I don't really... I mean, I suppose I could put in a bolt. What have we got here? Needs chromic metal again. We need copper. What we got around here? We got some very technology. That's another unknown building, 360 units away. 152. We've got lots of resources here. We just got no copper that I can see at the moment. Isn't that fun? Cobalt deposit. Cobalt deposit. Pyrite. There's definitely copper on this planet, isn't there? Let me see. Yeah, copper. Right, I've just noticed the time. I think what we're going to do is we've. I think we've done enough on this uh, trading station. There is another one round here, so I'm just going to skip to the other one over here. So we're just going to skip into this one. And then we'll just check this one out to wind the video up. So uh, we'll just come into here. Hello. Uh, can you do me anything? The life form's eyes widen in surprise. When I go to talk to them, they lean back and watch for sudden movements. They are unused to visitors wandering in from the desert, and they have clearly never seen anything quite like me before. That's really understandable. Get trader, something. I mind that I cannot speak their language, and increasingly reassured about big trader to indicate that I'm willing to help in exchange for particular elements. Well, we've got loads of carbon. We're giving carbon again. Well, the grateful trader clicks their big with delight. My offering is clearly what the most desire. They teach me much of the dialect of their people. We've learned a few words. Oh well, it's all progress. It's all progress. Um, yes, thank you. Uh, so we're now get rank two. So we've got to have a bit of a promotion. Some sodium nitrate. Um, I know I shouldn't be keeping the rusted metal, but. Some Gecknip, we can sell that for a little bit of cash. Let's just make sure. Okay, we're full up again. Just going to deploy the uh, portable refiner again. This is more just to get space than anything else. Um, and that in the sort of there. So that should give me three spaces. And grab this. Got some magic fluid. Really need the personal refiner. We've got some nanites. No. Keep in here. Some more nanites. Want to use up some of this oxygen and keep the, the ion batteries for reserve. Okay, got some dioxide, which the uh, yeah, we'll just use up some of that sodium nitrate. Multi tool, keep using up the carbon. Some dihydrogen here that would be useful. Maybe I have to scan these. These cactus parts, yes they are. Okay. Might be able to make some money from them, but let's go scan this. Obviously there's a slight problem with the templates and a lot of resources round here. Cobalt. And we've got some very tech which we can certainly start to mine out. There's a knowledge stone over there. Another knowledge stone. There's some very technology there. 
not going to pass that up. That's only 55 meters away. That means we can try. <laughs> okay, we've got another milestone. What have we got this time? We are a drifter. Because okay, we've worked 12k units. Um, right, let's just. So we've got two salvage data, if you're not familiar. I mean, salvage data is worth a lot of money, but more importantly, we can also turn it into nanites, which will help us um, increase our nanites. So um, salvage data is a very valuable asset to get. I can't remember if I actually claimed the base, so claim that. And I think this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. In the next part, we're going to carry on exploring this planet, looking for copper, because that we do need to get a base up and running. But until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming. <laughs>